Welcome back to part two. And the beads that I chose for this project, hopefully, I'll have enough. They're all crystals. I have the little pink bicons, a few of the round ones that are, um, these are four millimeter. And the clear, I have some larger, only because I mixed them for a different project. We'll see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> See what this this project brings to us. Pretty pretty. I will start with the leaf. I'm going to use three four millimeter bicones. These ones are pink. In the crystals that I'm using, they are in a playlist. Everything I use is from Amazon, unless I find something special on sale at Michaels. which I have not bought new stuff for a while. I don't need to. I use what I have. And I save everything. Okay. So, that's our first leaf. And, um... Hmm. I'm going to put my hand under my work. I'm going to push up with my fingers and down with my thumb. I'm going to put a few bends with my round nose pliers. Actually, we can leave that out. It also gave me more room. And at this point, of the project. I'm not going to cut any wires because I'm not sure yet what I want to do. Well, I know what I'd like to do. I just don't know for sure. I'd like to show you something different. And again, three four millimeter bicones. I slide it up just a little bit like that and bring it to the area right here where you twisted. And twist out your little leaf. Yesterday I twisted the leaf off my tree. I broke it. I'm not going to do that today. Once you do that, you're, you're done. You can't fix a broken leaf. You can't put it back. that for now. I'll go to my next two. Not sure, we'll see how this looks. Yeah, I think we'll do it this way. I had started one, <clears throat> and all I did was leaves, and I didn't love it. So, now I'm going to go back to this wire. Put three bicones on it. For some reason, my screen looks awful dark, and I don't know why. I have the same lighting. Tell me in the comments if it's too dark, if you can see what I'm doing. I have not looked at part one. I went right into part two. Long wire. Twist with that one. By that, I mean, I twist towards myself, so I bring it over towards me.
No. Ouch, I'm getting poked. Go to the next one. You can do this project with um, four millimeter seed beads, and it'd be just as pretty. I just like the crystals, <laughs> they are my favorite. Now, because I added a leaf, you see how the difference? Twist with this wire. I'm going to bring it toward the, towards me because I'm going to twist it this way. Otherwise, you could end up short. I'm not. I mean, my wire is long enough, but that's not always the case. And it's not going to be the case over here because of the way the wire that I used extra for the branches. A little bit different this time. Okay. Slide them down with a longer wire. Pinch it nice and close. You want it close. I use my thumb and get right in there like that and put in a couple of twists. At least two or three. And I am going to put in just a little twist right there. I still don't know what I'm going to do with the top of this. I have a few ideas. Actually, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. I'm just not going to do it right this minute. After this section, then we'll have completed one section of our tree. Okay, let's add a few twists here. Trying to see where you can best see my hands. I think this is a good spot. I have this um, tablecloth. Uh, not a, I keep calling it a tablecloth. It's a napkin on my tray, and I put three safety pins at the top and two down here at the bottom to the tray that I lined with fabric. And right here is right below. You can't see it. A safety pin. So I'm thinking that I'm in a good place, but I'm not sure. You'll let me know. This is going to be a little bit longer. I'm leaving a bigger space there. I might do that on some of them. 
I curled up to be even longer than that. Kind of turn it down, fill in this space right here. And now with my longest wire, I'm going to put in a few twists, just two. And I'm going to make say, a small cluster. One and one. There's a four millimeter round. I have a hard time with that, but I'll try. You see all these little pieces of uh, wire. Okay, now, longest wire. And now I'm going to support my work and put in a few twists. <clears throat> oh, got a jumper. This just helps me to see what it's going to look like. Okay, what we're going to do now is bring these two across my hoop. I'm going to bring it up like this and take it just slide it underneath that little leaf bring it over to there to the wire that's on the hoop I'm not going to wrap it around again, not on this one. Instead, just pass it down, then bring it across the back. You don't have to do it this way. I've just, I'm just used to doing it this way. I don't like to just wrap it around the hoop. I feel like it's not, it moves when I tighten up my, um, my branches. In this way here, it doesn't. So now what I do is push these two little wires down with my tweezers. Actually, and get that little leaf out of the way. Yeah. And that one's done. Now we'll go to this one and I'll wrap it around, pass it up. See, I usually do this one at a time as I go, but this, in this case I did not. I'm going to actually bring it down in between the first branch, like that. Bring it. You've got to get in there and hold on to your work. Um, yeah, it's easy for me to cut them as I go. I just wasn't sure. Don't like the way that looks. I'm going to cut it on this side, I think. No, I'm not going to cut it on the top because I can kind of pass it over and tuck it under. Get nice and close. This is why I don't use the plies. I only use them when I'm 
dealing with short wire and I can't grasp it. I started off with a nail clipper and tweezers for my first project and that's what I, no, I don't use tweez uh, nail clipper anymore, but you see what I use. This is it guys, Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to bring my other one up and pass it down, bring it up, oops, and I'm going to move my leaf and I'm going to pass this down in this space here, like that. I usually start my tree on my right, so starting it on this side, I only did it because of the shape of the tree. I feel like it's throwing me off. I want to work over here, but I don't know that if I do that, I don't know how it's going to look because it's at an angle. So we're just going to carry on. I like to take these two little, uh, kind of like curl them so that you can't feel it. I don't like it when it's scratchy and I did see this one right here is not pushed down yeah that'll work now this is the last one for this section Bring my wires together to the top of the hoop. Pass it down and bring it up. Usually I go around again. Not usually, sometimes. Not today. And pass it down in that space. I can't see it. Not that it's too short. Just couldn't see it. Bring it back up and cross it over. Now we're ready to cut. You know, I keep saying I'm going to buy a new pair of these. I've had these for about 10 years and they don't have the, like this one, the little metal piece is gone. So I have to constantly do this. And for some reason today it's just bugging me. With the flat end, get nice and close. And clippy wise. Come back in. And you have to push them down. And that feels good. It's not scratchy. adjust them on your hoop however you want. I did see, let me try it with this one. Get in between and open up that branch there. Give it a little bit of dimension that way. One coming out from the back, and this one on top. There. So that's part one. I think it's kind of pretty. Let's see how much time we have. It's been 20 minutes, almost. Well, we'll do a little more. before I start this I do want to come in here and make a few bends because it'll pull it away so I'll have more room for my beads. I don't always do it like that but this one here because it's going to graduate into a full tree over here I'll do that. Okay. 
These are all mixed. I'm looking for a six millimeter. It fits nice with a four millimeter bicon and then a six millimeter. And then on the other wire, I'll use two four millimeter bicones. Mm, that's, yeah, that's all right. I think I will put a leaf. This one here I can move a little bit. And when we're done, when we lace up the tree. That's when you really, if you're new here, I lace my tree so my branches never move. And they won't break or slide with the jumper and for hanging. Um, there, it's in a playlist. I did it special for one of you who requested it and how to get started on it. So in the playlist you'll find how to lace the branches. That's just a technique that I do because one of my first and favorite trees was hanging in my kitchen and the jump ring kept causing the branches to slide and eventually it broke. So that doesn't happen anymore. I don't make a tree without leasing. And I'm proud of you guys. The photos that you've sent me, you, you've done amazing. And you lace. So I'm glad that you appreciate that little tip. I mean, when I first started, I watched a million tutorials, literally. I've got a few tips that I really like, but nobody ever laced. I do. And the one thing that I bought, this lady, she said things I wish I knew or did before um, before I started working with wire. So she took her tools. She bought this can of, it's like liquid latex, I guess. And I bought it, and it's not cheap. And supposedly, like, see how this is? If you tip your tool in it and then let it come off, you'll coat all of your tools so that they don't scratch the wire. I've never opened the can. <laughs> so much for that. I shouldn't be messing around with it yet. You only get to do that once. I mean, if I try and put it back over there, I'll probably break it. I don't know if I said that this is 22 gauge wire, but I will put it in the description box. And for people, I do get asked, where is the description box? Um, when you see the tutorial up, it'll say more. Just touch on that, and that's where I write everything. I try to remember to write everything.
you have to hold on to your work or else it'll break because your pressure point is right there so and I'm moving my wire all over the place so hold on to it so it doesn't break my hands are a mess guys this Abby is full can now so she scratched the crap out of me and um, my fingernails, I have psoriasis, and that's what this is. It's disgusting. There's nothing I can do about it. And this is going to just make it. So put a little pull over your hoop. I'm going to hold it right there. Bring it up. I'm going to move my leaf. I'm going to put the long one through first. Okay, now the short one. Pass it right over the neck of this branch and then pull it down. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. This is why I don't like to use short wire. My hands aren't steady as it is. I'm old. Okay, I'm going to bend this top one. Uh, the short one up first like that and then just press it down on it now I'll do this one Put this one off the clip like that there we go doesn't catch now and that's the next section Something different. Pretty. You can just string them. I'm doing just something different. Mostly I wanted you to see how to put your tree to the side. And I think I'm going to maybe work a little bit over here. I can see that it will be short. So. Or it'll be shorter than I would like it to be. Here we go right in here. This is where I keep all my stash. <laughs> Scrap wire. Let's see what else we have. That's under layer one. Now under the second layer, we have a placemat. And another placemat. Oh, we have chapstick stuff and hoops and chains and owls and crystals and lots of stuff. Oh, a bracelet. Yep. My workspace is always clean, but I have to have the essentials right under there. <laughs> it's just the way I work. Okay, let's see. Um, I really, really want this to hang down like that. Let's see what we can come up with. I am positive I'm going to have to add more wire. I should actually do it now. And then we'll, instead of having just two, we'll have four. Let's see. How long is this wire? Okay, this is one that I obviously... Oh, two. This is one I tried to put them on a hoop for the project, and I had extra. So I just kept it. I think... Yeah, I think we're going to do it this way. But I think I'm going to cut... Do I want to cut it in half? Mm, yeah. No. I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, so now we're going to put it on top of that. And you have to hold it really good right up there into the point. And with the long one, put in a few twists. Because you, you don't want that space there. 
but it don't look good. And if it doesn't close up when you twist on the other wire, close it up with a pliers or a tweezer or your fingernail, whatever you can. There we go. So now I can cut it because I know I don't need it to be that long. I'll mark my eye out. Okay. So now we have extra, two extra branches, which is fine because I want them long and full. And this one here I'll do first after I get in here and close up that little space a little. There we go. Can you see it? I'm not in focus. I hope that hasn't been the case the whole time. I have an idea for this one, but I'm going to work on the long one. For some reason, I am not in the middle. <clears throat> I took everything off the workspace and wiped it all down, and I just haven't been able to set it back up the right way. I don't know why. And I'm standing up. I can look over. I just get distracted, I guess. I don't know. I've been struggling, guys. <laughs> As you can see. I don't post like I used to currently. I will, I'll get back to it. Just... I have tried. As a matter of fact, I'll show you in one second. This is not my first take on this tree. I wasn't going to do this, but I'll do it. I attempted to do it with seed beads, and I don't know. Maybe I'll finish it. I don't know. Probably. But it wasn't the one. I wanted to do it with the crystals. So I did it over. Plus, I didn't record... Uh, putting it on and that wouldn't have helped. I started off without you. All right, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's get back in here. Enough to chat. I'm just going to put two 4 millimeter on each wire, I think. Unless I change my mind and just do leaps. No, I'll keep that. Longest wire. I was thinking about not attaching it here and just let it hang. So I'm going to go to my next wire. And I'm going to bring the long one over like that because I'm going to put a leaf on this one. Slide them up, cross it over, and give it a twist or two. That'll do it. Like that. And with a long wire now, a piece of hair on me. Guys, I cut a lot of hair off, like eight inches of hair, and I'm still losing hair. Not cool. Um, don't think I want it just to hang because it doesn't have support like that so I will put a bicone on one just one if I can pick it up there we go that's a round one and twist that put it to your hoop like that 
pass them up. I'm going to try to do it twice. Glue on my pliers. Yeah, crazy glue, super glue. So we got to the, the two shorter wires for this, managed to make it to the hoop. But because I added that piece of wire, we have an extra. This one here is extra. So instead of having just one, we have two. I want it to stay down like that. Yeah. We're going to twist with this longer wire and put a few little beads on it. Little bicones, one on each side, I think. I don't know. Let's see. Is that enough? Yeah, we can add some more. Make it pretty, pretty. Okay, I will put a six millimeter. There. So these pink ones, these round, that one there, I have four millimeter and six millimeter in here. I bought to do on the heart shape, and I bought a whole bunch of them. So I do have two in my Etsy with just pink crystals, and then I did one um, in the heart shape, and I did it with um, rose quartz, and it's really pretty. So for anyone that's new here, I do have an Etsy. I just, I just make the stuff. My son takes, and I take photos, and I can post it now. I know how to do that, but he does everything else. Let's see what time is. Oh, my husband's gonna be home soon, guys, and I'm out here chit chatting away. Okay, I have to go. I'm going to attach that right there. I'll do it now real fast. I like to have it set up when he gets home. He works hard. I'm going to go underneath this little leaf, I think. Yeah. I was watching the weather and people have snow already. I hate the snow, guys. I was meant to live in a tropical... I lived in Florida for a while. I tell you what, if I could go back, I would. But I can't. My husband has his job. Let's see. Get in there. See if you didn't watch to the end, you didn't. You won't. You'll miss little things that I add. Little, little extras like how that, how I made magic happen with that wire. See now we have extra. That's pretty. And uh, I'll put an arch in it. But anyway, so for now, I will end it at this point for part two. And I'll be back in a bit. Bye, guys.